Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the lightweights and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Mikhail Palandre taking on Tejane Bestati. like Johnson, Kopravlensky, and Baia. Here is Tejani Bestati. We are once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, his successful debut at Glory 60, capped an undefeated 2018 campaign. As a professional, 30 wins with just three losses, 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, one half inch tall, 1.84 meters, he weighed in at 153.4 pounds, 69.6 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of saint Gamier, France, Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mikhail Palandre. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a six-time Dutch champion who won his first four glory starts. As a professional, 19 wins with just four losses, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.90 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 153.9 pounds, 69.8 kilograms. Fighting out of Morocco, he is the number two ranked lightweight contender in the world. Here is Tejani, the Wonder Boy, Bestani. And the referee in charge of this bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you find too. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like, push back. Judge, judge, this judge, could be time. A masterpiece. If they both bring their A Fight. games. Let's see what we have in front of us. Vistati in the white gloves, Palandre in the black. Yeah, so Johnny's got a nice long jab, which I'm sure he's going to try to mix with. Let's see how confident. So Johnny's going to take this fight. Johnny trains at Coliseum Gym right down the street here in Utrecht. Just missing with a high kick. Palandre with an outstanding 30 and 3 record. 40% knockout ratio. He's a very busy man. He works as a builder, has two children, and he's a pro fighter. Doesn't stop. That's right, he builds houses and refuses to quit that job even though he said he might be able to financially afford to. He said it keeps him humble and it actually helps his stamina. He does have good conditioning. I like that to Johnny staying patient, trying to find his big power shots. Tati trying to bully Palandre around a little bit. 
haven't really seen spin kicks from Tijani. Well, Andre keeps his guard close to his chin, whereas Vistati keeps his gloves almost palms out in front of his face. And Tijani would rely more on his eyes for defense, where Palandre uses his defense and his guard. Great counter left hook by Vistati. There's another left one. And right now, Vistati seems Break. to have the edge. Fight! We measure the reach of fighters, but we don't measure their leg length, Joe. But Vistati's legs look like they're six yeah. feet long. They're very tall. I just liked his relaxed style. It, it's, it's nice, it's suiting him. It's finding the shots, not wasting useless energy punching defense. Right hand for Palandre. Johnny's also known for some vicious knees. So let's see if you can mix any of those tonight. Good low kick, which buckled the knees of Palandre. Ooh, just took a nice slick right angle there to fire off that right hand. There's those knees. Good opening round for the Moroccan Wonderboy. Let's look at some keys for these guys to Johnny Vestati. That confidence after that title fight, and we're seeing that. The way he's setting up his shots, using his eyes. He's got to control the range, use that height he has. He's got to mix those knees on the insides. He knows Palandre so has to crash the distance eventually. Where his opponent, Mikhail Palandre, he needs to close that distance somehow. Maybe mix his head movement, use his guard, use that defense, chop away at the legs. And he needs to be a little bit, have a little bit more output in this round. He's a little too patient. Such a great little venue here in Utrecht. Every seat is filled, every ticket sold. And these fans have seen some great fights tonight. We'll see if Palandre can answer back here in the second round. Yeah, he just needs to put a little bit more out there now. He fell to Johnny's reach and power, now he needs to go. Fight! Round two scheduled for three in the lightweight division. Bestati coming off a world title opportunity. Palandre hoping for one in the future. He's ranked number 10. No surprise that Bastati won the first round according to all five judges. And slick distance and range control from Bastati. What adjustments does Palandre need to make? Well, it's more about him going forward just like that. Not throwing the single shot because Tajani slips the first punch. But two and three are the ones that could land. So he needs to put things in combinations, keep stepping forward. Bastati dominating with the punches as seen here. Andre is facing a buzzsaw right now. Do not throw. Fight! <laughs> Quick hands being shown by Bastardi. Yep, mixing in the legs as well. Let go, let go! Do not hold that. Fight! See, just the Johnny slipping those single shots, no problem. His eyes are on fire tonight. Swings and misses for Palantra. Yep, a nice sneaky little uppercut. Put to Johnny on the inside. Well, that body looks open, and Pastani's starting to find it now. Rondra just having a hard time finding Bastati. Five of the eight fighters on this card tonight are ranked number two or higher. That's the level we are witnessing here. Number two ranked Bastati. 
doing damage to Palandre, who's getting a couple shots in now. Yep, Vistani's found that right straight a few times. Looks like he's trying to set it up in different ways. Oh, nice step in, left hook to the body. Palandre answers with a knee. Very impressed with Tajani's defense. Fight! No, not your traditional high guard duck shell. He's been improving his boxing a lot. He looks so comfortable in there tonight. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what that championship rounds do for you. you know, if you can sit there and fight Barack Gregorian for five rounds, you know, anyone else you fight isn't going to be as intimidating. Stop this year comes Saturday, March 28th in Antwerp, Belgium, Glory 76, and one of the most anticipated and bitter rivalries will battle it out for the welterweight title. Current champ Cedric Dubé looks for a sixth consecutive victory, fifth by KO, as he takes it to the man who took the belt from him, the Predator, Virgil Bruhart. Saturday, March 28th, Glory 76. Yep, that's the fight I'm most excited for. And they are both in attendance tonight. There's the champ, Cedric Dubé. Yep. Ready, confident more than ever. Just all about jokes. Surprised he's not wearing his Pray for Myrtle shirt. And there's the man he's praying for. Myrtle Grunhart, number one welterweight contender. He says he's Myrtle tonight, fight night, he's the predator. Time, doctor. Dr. Twain. And keep in mind, later tonight, we will announce who Badr Hari will be fighting June 20th in Rotterdam. That's just minutes away. Uh, make a twist. No, no, yes. yes, make a twist. Hi, hi. Sounds like, like it. it's cracked. Oh, it's broken. Oh, you heard the doctor say it is broken. That is it. Andre, because Tati was having one of the best performances we've yeah, seen. Yeah, he looked sharp, like I kept mentioning, his distance and his eyes were sharp. He mixed in good low kicks, good body kicks. I mean, when you got those sharp shins like Tajani has, off the forearm, you're breaking things. Who knows when that could have happened. Not even happened in the first round for all we know. Palandre forced to retire because the doctor would not let him continue. So Vistani said, I will break him, but that certainly wasn't the break he was mentioning. A broken left arm to Palandre, and Sajani Vistani gets his 20th career victory. We'll hear from Vistani when we return. You're watching Glory 75 from Utrecht. champion of the world, he is Serhei oh, There it is, rolling thunder, and it connected. It's so hard, even if you win, to look good against Adam Chuck. He just has something about him that he just smothers everything you do. Good defense, you know, he pressures well, good distance control, uses his angles. Oh, what a high kick, but Dallas walked right through it. One, two, Vidalis in trouble. Back against the ropes. Vidalis to the canvas for the first time ever. Declaring your winner by technical knockout, Sergei Adam Jones.
the corner, unable to answer the bell for the third round. This is ruled a technical knockout for your winner, Tejani Biscotti. Your winner, Tejani Biscotti. You train just around the corner. How does it feel to win here at home? Um, you know, it's an amazing feeling, and I want to thank everyone here for all the support. I appreciate it, and um, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you came into this fight, and you just looked extra confident. Your eyes were sharp. Your defense was good. How did you feel about your performance? Um, yeah, it was a pretty good performance, and um, you know, I'm happy with the W, and um, now it's time to go back to the drawing board, even if you win this fight. You know, it's always uh, time for, uh, uh, for improvement, and uh, yeah. So. How did it feel walking out to your own song? Did that give you a little bit of extra motivation? Yeah, of course, it gave me a, an extra motivation. You know, it's my hobby and I like uh, and I like it and you know, why not? And I hope everybody liked the song. <laughs> you came into this fight ranked number two. You just came off a title shot opportunity. What is 2020 gonna be for Tajani? Um, you know, um, one fight at a time. Um, I wanna fight, you know, everyone and I want to claim at the end of the year not a title shot of course all right Utrecht let's hear it for your own to Johnny Bestati the wonder boy with a impressive performance here tonight and keep in mind he's still only 22 years old not, not sure anybody can beat him